to you YouTubers, this is Restock straight from Rosemont, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Commemorative Series 5 Inferno. This is uh, basically G1. This is G1 Inferno reissued back in 2003 actually. Let's uh, take a look at the box. I like the fact that actually the box opens up. And if you do, you can see other Series 5s. These are all Autobots except for... Thundercracker up here. So yeah, here you go. You can collect them all. I do not. <laughs> Just like Pokemon, right? Inside of the box, and I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little Transformers in there. Big Autobot symbol right there. Okay, top of the box. Right, side of the box. Right. In here, you can read the stats, and if you want to read, da 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 da. So there, that's her stats. I like the the G1 homage here to the back of the box. Although this looks more IDW-ish. Uh, bottom of the box, 2003. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I do like the box art. The box art was great back then, even though if the figures weren't all that great. The figure does slide rather well. And I like the fact that the ladder extends. Yeah, it extends quite a bit. So, yeah, you can tell right there. It does come with a few accessories, like its wings. Don't know why they had that. These flimsy hands. And this, which uh, the drill arm. I'm not going to break them apart because they'll just be flying off all over the place when I put it back in the box. Also comes with an instruction sheet and a sticker sheet. Back in the day, you had to apply the stickers. Uh, they go in different places, but you know, you can kind of see them here, you know, here and here. Why, why we needed stickers is beyond me. And it also had a rub sign. You actually had to apply the, the sticker here. I think they mentioned something about the rub sign on here. I'm not sure, but it's just actually inside here. But the de the detailing this is superb. I like the little chrome highlights, the little sticker. The wheels are actually rubber rice rubber you can kind of tell where the arms connect and they did a okay job connecting it because or sorry trying to hide it the tab over here where his head is and yeah molding is pretty good i like the fire department sticker here i like the fact that it's clear and you can see the cab yeah the cab is pretty nice detail is not so bad a little gap over there but other, other than that, like the little steps over here, very good detail and molding is nice. Yeah, I mean, very nice. I like this. This is where the mode you should display it because his, <laughs> let's face it, he is a brick. And let me show you as I transform him over here. First thing, we're going to just pop up uh, his arms. They do snap in. As you can tell, the tabs are right there. And I'm going to go out. All right. I'm not going to go too much in depth, you know, his head pops out over here. The first thing is we're going to lift the cab up over here. And, okay. Uh, and this is one thing. He does have these annoying little pieces that just love popping out. And I hate that about that. I'm going to swing the legs up here. I'm not going to do a great job transforming this. Like, uh, I know this accord accordion's up over here. So, yeah. Let's see that again. Okay. And that goes up here. All right. Again, very basic. Head goes in here. And also there's a little tab over here that just snaps in. Okay. Oh, man. There we go. Forgot to rotate this correctly. Oh. There we go. Let me try to tab that in. There we go. And like I mentioned before, his hands are pretty flimsy. They connect. And there's a little gap over here. I don't know if you can tell. Same thing in between his waist. You got that little gap. Nothing horrible, but you know, does detract from the figure. Oh yeah, I forgot. 
Like I said, this thing you can put them in his hands, but I'm not going to. Uh, also, they got the little water cannon on the side. Very nice detail. And the wings just pop in here on the side. I don't know if you can tell, there's a little slot right about there. Makes it much more ornate. There we go. As far as a figure, I mean, he looks good. One thing I like about this is also, I like the little details. I forgot about the clear little headlights over here. Is his face sculpt is pretty awesome. Especially for a G1 figure. You know, you got the blue eyes. It looks like, I forgot, Sunstreaker. You got the little color scheme, same as Sunstreaker. Very nice head sculpt, if I can tell anything. But other than the arms, you really don't have much articulation. Yeah. Really, really awful. It's a display piece more than anything. And here he is with Movie Brawl. So he's slightly taller. Yeah. But... Yeah, it is what it is. 8 out of 10 for the cap mode or the fire truck mode. 6 out of 10 for the robot mode. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.